What is consciousness? What is all this? What is time? Here it is. Very, very simple. When you see the whole projected world as a human being, and when you see the whole world from within, which is like the hourglass, same size, same dimension, you see that the outcome of this revelation of completing this life is astonishingly wordless. And that is that. When you reach this wordless state, then consciousness reveals itself as what it is. The human ego mind does not understand the true appearance of why we are here and why consciousness came simply because they refuse to go within to the other side whilst in a body they believe that this is the only thing that is here and therefore they're only going to see half of it and they're only going to walk in the same direction and that direction is outward and growing and evolution but the imbalance of this world growing and evolution and the internal world becomes unstable and we as a race are probably doomed so many are looking now to the internal world to look turn around awaken and see within no special saint no special guru no special identity just a real determination to put an end to this unbalanced way consciousness and once this balanced way comes everything will be as it will be as consciousness is here to be everything will go on naturally evolution will take place naturally no effort no having to maintain improve worry about environment worry about this and that wars and peace all of that will go but it's the refusal to go within the ego mind is stubborn it is lazy it simply says this is it what's the point you know you find the point you see the point is the hourglass is the door you see the point you are looking from the middle of the hourglass you are the door only looking in one direction is there another direction i don't believe this one you see that's what you're saying i don't believe this one how can inside your body be the same size as what is out here this universe is colossal how do you know how do you know your eyes are lenses your eyes are projecting everything is coming from one point you see one simple point projecting out like the torch at the purest where the light leaves the torch that is you you see you are the purest everything outside of you becomes impure you know, and you're only looking at your own world so you can say another human being is less pure than you because they are projecting you see billions of worlds projecting overlapping interchanging merging separating all of this movement time is taking place so you have to you don't have to do anything you see you can let let this human destruction happen it's only human you see it's only a human species a bubble of consciousness within the immortal consciousness you know billions of bubbles you know nature is a bubble human bubble bubbles within bubbles you know animals bubbles but bubbles of animals come within bubbles of human and bubbles of nature all intertwining bubbles of consciousness popping every day you know 
extinction happening every day. And the extinction is natural when it is natural, when you don't try and end something. When the species it moves on naturally, it is absolutely pure nature. They don't go and disappear and end, they move into something else. Consciousness is recycling at its best, you see. And consciousness creates this, the tr part of the truth that is revealed. And when I say I know nothing, you know, I'm speaking, that's body and mind speaking, you see. Body and mind knows nothing. But the one that speaks through the body and mind appears to know so much everything's. Because everything changes, you see. Everything in this moment is absolutely, spontaneously natural and real. And in the next moment, a new real, you see. And that is what I'm going to reveal right now. Consciousness is constantly spewing bath. Consciousness is infinite, but it seems to stretch. It seems to grow. So is it growing within itself? Or is this infinite have some sort of boundaries that are really not there? An, an elusive boundary. So is consciousness while it spews birth constantly growing outwards or is it suffocating itself growing inwards? Whatever, it doesn't matter. Consciousness will look after itself. If it is to destroy itself through suffocation, it is natural, like an extinction of a species. Consciousness may end itself, you see. Every single moment of your day, every single moment of your day, every single nanosecond of your day, birth in you is taking place. Birth, birth, birth. All over the universe. Universes are being born. Everything is being born. You laugh in the morning. Next day you wake up, you laugh again. Someone says, that one is always laughing. And you Consciousness says, yeah, but it's a newborn laugh every day. Not the same laugh. No two moments are the same. Every single thing is, this hand is creating birth and movement. Time is the constant spewing of birth. There is no middle. This, what is taking place right now, is birth being born. Every moment of every day, bath, bath, bath. Consciousness does not understand the end, outcome. It has no concept. End is a mind, ego, mind based invention. End is non computable to consciousness. Middle is non computable to consciousness. There is no middle, no end. Middle appears to be here as time. Time is the constant movement of birth. Faster than light, you see. Everything is faster than our minds can conceive. We have no perception as mind of what is going on, you see. Consciousness, when it reveals itself, simply says, I am birth. I don't know anything but newness, birth. I don't know what is going to come of this birth. I don't know what this birth is for. I don't know the purpose of anything. But I just want to be the creator of birth. I am birth. Birth, birth, birth. Every heartbeat is different. Every pulse is different. Every hair on your hand, completely new every morning. Every makeup, new, 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 time. You see? Time, 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 time. There's nothing taking place except birth. 
There's no purpose behind this path. This is completely constant path. That is why the truth of in a human mind-based body way will never be understood because this birth is changing the whole consciousness is changing every single nanosecond of every single day in our time-based world so the truth could be revealed right now and then it's gone when something is born the result of the birth the witness who sees it being born as soon as identified as birth another one is replaced and another and another if you ignore everything if we ignore everything if mind was taken away now and we were grazing like donkeys in the fields consciousness the birth would slow down because the recognition of birth creates more birth the recognition of hatred creates more hatred the recognition of joy creates more joy if you live in a negative world you're going to create more negativity Negativity will create negativity, you see. Very simple. Consciousness is constantly, constantly spewing out birth and an astronomical level of birth every nanosecond of every day. Of, in fact, you cannot even measure it. It is so fast. So, 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 so fast. Humans are trying to control birth. They're trying to control population. They're trying to segregate and organize and structure something that is absolutely randomly spewing out. Therefore, the control is going against all the laws of consciousness's nature, birth. We come up with so many ideas, so many solutions. We need to cut down the population. There's not enough food. There's not enough that. Let humanity grow and grow and grow and grow to its natural state and it may be extinct and move into the next bubble of consciousness. You will appear in every bubble of consciousness before you finally pop. You see? That is the news I'm bringing. This body and mind, when it goes, will recycle. The one inside, pop, gone. Seen every dimension, every level of consciousness. All of your past lives is revealed. Everything is revealed. So much that the mind has to shut down because the information is too colossal and that is what is called this enlightenment the mind shutting down before enlightenment the mind is so fast mental patients they say get schizophrenia it's all past lives all past experiences and consciousness coming together intermingling and brrr, confusion mass confusion and then Mind shuts down, awakened, enlightenment, no more, final bubble. Pop. That is truth, you see. But the truth will change in the next moment. But you cannot not understand the core of truth. Birth, beginning, is only thing that consciousness is nothing else that is why in your enlightened state you will be taken to the beginning where consciousness itself in its vast infinite state was born we were all there like rumi i witnessed this astoundingly wordless beginning that is beyond all mind's un ability to explain, understand and think. But it was absolutely stillness, peace. Every state 
that any alien, animal, human form can understand in the purest of joy is that what consciousness is and will continue to give birth whether human like it or not. Namaste.